According to the Alzheimer's Association, one out of every eight people over the age of 65 develop some form of dementia. By age 85, the chance of getting Alzheimer's disease increases to nearly 50 percent. Family members typically serve as the primary caregivers for these patients, and finding support can be challenging. A good place to start when looking for resources to support Alzheimer's disease patients and caregivers is the Office on Aging at the College of Southern Idaho. They provide a collection of programs and services intended for senior citizens. But with so much emphasis on Alzheimer's care, most of those services are available to help caregivers or people in early stages of Alzheimer's. Case management services allow one-on-one -on -one help identifying a patient's or caregiver's needs and finding services to support them. Some of those services might be housekeeping, home delivered meals, uh, ways to access transportation, ways to help caregivers learn how to be a better caregiver. Support groups meet regularly for education, discussion, and peer support. That is probably the greater challenge for caregivers, is to maintain their emotional health and to be able to maintain their physical strength so that they can continue in the caregiving role. And that's why encouragement to participate in support groups is so important. Edgar says the community as a whole has a responsibility, too, to recognize these caregivers and patients and offer what help they can. I'm Kevin Ryan reporting for St. Luke's Health System.